Hello, and welcome to this pen review. Today we are taking a look at the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149. This oversized fountain pen is perhaps the most recognizable fountain pen on the face of the earth. I would dare to say, even people who are uninitiated to fine writing, people uninterested in the slowly agonizing art of penmanship do recognize this pen. It probably is the pièce de résistance of more than a few collections. Just slightly short of perfection, this 148 mm long piston filler has unfortunately indeed been relegated to the mere and vulgar function of status symbol by people trying to emulate famous characters who have used it in the past. As if you could buy yourself unmatched accomplishments and a great destiny. Made from the smoothest plastic, <coughs> I mean synthetic precious resin you will ever touch, the Meisterstück 149 is indeed a very luxurious item. However, what truly sets it apart from other fountain pens is its 26 mm long, 18 karat gold, two tone nib. Not because it is tastefully decorated in a way that has been imitated countless times, but because of how well it writes. It is available in a very wide variety of configurations, such as extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, triple broad, music, etc. What I have here is a medium nib meant for daily writing. It is stiff, but somehow is capable of creating quite some line variation. It never skips, never railroads, and is more or less everything I could possibly expect it to be. The Meisterstück 149 is quite large, especially when it comes to thickness, and although current trends tend to favor gigantic pens, experienced penmen do generally prefer pens in more classical proportions. Among the other few shortcomings of the 149, there is the symbolic ink window that allows the user to see when the pen is almost empty, when the pen is almost empty. Overall, the pen is really enjoyable to use as a daily writer, and it is always a pleasure to brandish its huge nib like you would brandish a sword. However, this pleasure is unfortunately often spoiled by all the looks the pen attracts for all the wrong reasons. This, perhaps, has to do with the fact the Meisterstück 149 has become a gifting item, or what is sometimes referred to as a signatory pen. But using this masterpiece solely for signatures is like hiring a renowned concert pianist to play a single key. A waste.